This conference will now be recorded. Right, let's start today's session. Uh, your voice is a little bit low, sir. Please. Hello. Hello, sir. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, sir, but a little bit low, sir. Your voice is a little bit low. Give me one second. Now it's okay. Hello. Yes, sir. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, yeah. See, in the last session, we were discuss about uh, pagination concept in Django REST framework. There are three types of paginations. One is page number pagination and limit offset pagination, cursor pagination. So we just completed uh, page number pagination with the uh, parameters. And now we need to go for limit offset pagination. So what is limit offset pagination? How to work with limit offset pagination? We'll see this. So limit offset pagination means this is the this style mirrors the syntax used when looking up multiple database records. The client includes both limit and offset. So how much how many records he wants to display at a time that limit also we can set and from there onwards how many records you want to display two records three records offset also we can display that offset means it's a page size actually so it is similar to page size in other styles offset means this pagination style mirrors the syntax used when looking up multiple database records the client includes both a limit and offset query parameter the limit indicates the maximum number of items to return that means maximum number of records to return this is limit so limit i am setting two means two records will return and it is equivalent to page size in other styles the offset indicates the starting position of the query in relation to the complete set of unpaginated items so offset indicates what the starting position of the query in relation to the complete set of unpaginated items we can say that so starting of query so i'll show you offset how to set if you want to set this globally you can write the code in uh, settings.py limit offset pagination or else you can go through normally per view also we can able to use it not a problem now <clears throat> I'm going to show you limit offset pagination here. So in the views, I'm trying to use this is. So this is limit offset pagination. I'm trying to use into global settings.py only. Default pagination class. Go to settings.py of your project settings.py. So here I'm taking limit offset pagination. Previously, we worked with page number pagination, page size is 3, but now we are using limit offset pagination. We are using test underscore framework dot pagination dot limit offset pagination. And we need to do uh, this thing into where? In the view section, we have to decide. So in the view section, what we have to decide means this we have to decide, sir. Simple. In the view section. Only query set and student serializer is required in the view section let's go to view section so student list api query set view pagination so this is not required at this moment okay so this is not required this is simply we can say rest of framework dot generics import list api view clearly so 
only coruscant and next serializer class student serializer is required sir okay remaining not required because in settings.py limit offset pagination i have already set so this is limit offset pagination how to work with this we will see now so we can set the limit as well as offset also here in pagination.py so we need to do limit offset pagination we have to work so in pagination.py you can see i'm using from framework dot pagination import limit offset pagination and our class should be inherited from limit offset pagination in this limit offset pagination default limit i'm giving five records and limits query parameter page limit offset query parameter page offset maximum limit is four i'm taking so this is optional this is optional max limit is we can decide default limit is five only this is also optional i'm giving max limit now you can see max limit max limit equal to three records something okay max limit equal to three four, uh, four maximum limit and default limit is what actually five we can give whatever it is so i'm taking default max limit only three now three records will come when we run this server now you can see start the server python space manage dot py run the server limit and offset we can set both once i run this student api student api now you can see default limit is three i said there is no you can see all the records are coming but i think so pagination not set the reason is i will tell you why still my pagination only there In the views we have to set yes pagination views dot py this we have to activate so I forgot to activate let's restart now this time you can see limit offset pagination will work clearly student api now we have three records though still it is not working let me check once pagination.py so i'm using limit offset my pagination limit offset pagination class in this rest of 16 pagination my pagination pagination class equals to my pagination and default limit is 5 i'm taking max limit is 3 i'm taking remaining parameters are not required now just observe here two records two two pages are coming so i am using total count is 10 records are there default limit is what actually 5 is there okay so now in this next page you can see automatically five records are there but you can see limit and limit is five is there here offset is five is there here offset means from which records onwards you want to return the result okay you can also set like this i am trying to set here limit equals to three records okay and offset equals to five Meaning is what? Just look at this. 
limit equal to 3 offset equals 5 means from fifth record after i need three records so 6 7 8 it is coming this is called limit three records limit offset means from which record onward do you want suppose i am taking two from three record onwards total three records are coming three four five three four five limit is three from second record onwards if i increase the limit here four from second record onwards means third record onwards four records will come three four five but for record limit why it is not coming the reason is in this default lim max limit is what i am giving three only give me that's what it is three only come so limit we should not exceed more than three if i give four max limit let's see default limit is five by default for the first time when we execute limit is five records but max limit if you want to go with your own limit max limit is what only four so let's see this student api so default limit is 5 means 5 records are coming for the first time but we can able to change it also sir now you can see i'm trying to say limit equals to 4 and offset equals to what 3 that means what you know third record after fourth record fourth record onwards how many records will get four records wait a minute question mark is required here now you can see four records will get from which record on which fourth record on which four five six seven four records this is limit how many records do you want to get offset means from where you want to get offset i am giving three three means four onwards it will come four five six seven offset i am giving two two onwards four records three four five six like this this is limit offset so default parameters are limit and offset this is called limit page limit offset pagination in case if you want to change the parameters look at this limit query parameter page limit okay offset query parameter page offset both we can change it if you want i'm trying to change this here limit query parameter page limit offset query parameter page offset now limit and page offset will not work these two parameters only will work what parameter page limit page offset only let's run this now student api student api default limit is five records but i'm trying to use question mark now we have to use page limit here not only limit page limit equals to three and page offset equals to three so now you can see fourth record onwards three records are coming now parameters will not work limit as well as offset we set the parameter names page limit and page offset what parameters we are providing that parameters we have to check this so this is limit offset pagination point of view next cursor page pagination is there this pagination style only present uh, forward and uh, reverse controls means only forward and the reverse next previous options are there there is no uh, sir, numbers can you show the api sir last api page offset hmm. tell me api sir not this api it means API. window okay yeah. wait But you page know that uh, pages, right? Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7 pages. But uh, 4, 5, 6, records. 7 records only, pages not. Where is the pages? 4, but 5, 6, 7. What's the pages. difference between off offset and page offset, sir? Page offset means it's a parameter name I'm changing. Here you can see if you want to change the name, you can change the name of the parameter here. Only that name, as per your convenient, you can check the name. Okay. So here I am changing my page set, page limit. No, if you don't give these names, only how to use default names, limit and offset. But uh, I can change the page name, uh, 
parameter names also I can change. Yeah, this is names only. You can use P, uh, PL also. Page limit means PL. Page offset means PF. You can use PL, yes. PF over there. These are names just. Now I'm using PL and PF. You can see. Student API. Now you can see here. I'm giving question mark. PL page limit 4. And PF page offset 3 onwards. We got 3 onwards. 4 records are coming. 4, 5, 6, 7. So just name of the parameters. So working with cursor pagination, the pagination style only present forward and reverse controls and does not allow the client to navigate to arbitrary positions means last items directly we cannot navigate. So this style only is having forward and reverse controls. It does not allow to navigate the arbitrary items means last last items, middle item directly we cannot proceed. So orderly we have to follow. So cursor based pagination requires that there is a unique and unchanging ordering of items in the result. Yes, how the way records are displaying the ordering through we can go and we need not to change the order. So unchanged ordering of the records. The ordering might be typically be a creation timestamp on the records at this present consistence ordering of paginate against. Cursor based pagination is somewhat complex than other schemes. But it also requires the result set present in the fixed ordering and does not allow the client to arbitrary index to the result set. However, it does provide the following benefits or benefits means consistency pagination view is possible when we use it properly cursor paginations. Ensure that the client will never see the same item twice when the paginating through the records. Even when new record is inserted in the middle also. During the pagination process, that record will not appear because that record by default will add last only. You have to move to last option. Then only you can able to see the record instantly in the middle. It will not appear. Some There is no numbering position only. So cursor page pagination means only records will display reverse or uh, forward like that. One. Okay. And now you can see ordering also I am taking name. Page size is what? 3. Cursor query parameter C if you want to change this one. So this is first let me take cursor pagination. Here I am importing from rest framework dot pagination import cursor pagination. Here your class should be inherited from cursor pagination and this I am including here page size is 3 ordering is name. So let's see this cursor pagination how it will work only next previous controls will be there there is no numbering system and the records will be displayed in the ordering of name only so no ordering right now so now you can see previous next button is there three records are there. If, don't look at this ids because i said ordering is what name only so name through it is displaying ordering now you can see previous next buttons are there next means next page Okay, next means again next page 67619 records because name ordering you have to observe. Next, next button disable. Previous means previous. Previous means previous. So, so we are moving cursor actually here. But the moving cursor you can see in the interlist in the URL cursor is there, cursor parameter. Instead of cursor parameter, if you want to use C letter, so cursor query parameter equal to C also we can use here cursor underscore query parameter equal to C that means C letter will be appear now it will not appear uh, other things C letter will appear now you can see C letter will appear student API now you can see cursor when we move this C is there not cursor is there this is cursor page pagination next previous buttons will be available so by default we can able to click on this next 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 we can't move directly into the last page last page or first page directly this is the sequential order you have to book you have to go with next 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 option or previous 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 option this type of pagination is called cursor page pagination
So total three pagination styles are there. Limit offset pagination, page number pagination, cursor pagination, clear. And working with hyperlink model serializer. Yes. How to do with the hyperlink model serializer? We'll see this. See, the hyperlink model serializer means for every record, uh, separate uh, link will be created. User can hit the link on that uh, record. That user details only will come and display here. Working with hyperlink model serializer. The hyperlink model serializer class is similar to model serializer class except that it uses hyperlinks to represent the relationships rather than primary keys. So by default, the serializer class will include a URL field instead of a primary key field. The URL field will be represented using hyperlink identity field, serializer field, and any relationships on the model will be represent using hyperlink related field, serializer field only. So that means simple it is. It's not a big concept. It's a simple concept. Normally in the API window, records will display along with records each user or each record can have the hyperlink uh, link whenever user click on that link automatically that link will link through we can get the details that is hyperlink model serializer i'll show you one uh, example with hyperlink model serializer separate application i'll create rest app 17 i'm trying to create sir. so let's flip to application creation and is dot py start app rest app 17 python space manage dot py start app rest app 17 so rest app 17 i included next uh, we have to go with the uh, immediately projects location and rest app 17 we have to use sorry rest app 17 we have to include in settings dot py i am including rest app 17 rest app 17 yes rest app 17 included once rest app 17 included in the rest app 17 models we have to create models let's create a model so model creation is very simple student student name id this is model sir after model make migrations and migrations Make migrations. Model student is created. Migrate. Migration also done. Once migration done, let's see this. Uh, tables. Refresh. In this Let's tap 17 underscore student right click edit data now to insert few records we can insert not a problem okay but uh, serializer let me insert few records Now coming to this records are inserted and serializer class we have to use but look at this we are using serializer start hyperlink model serializer we are using this is the concept actually normally model serializer we use previously normal serializer we use previously now this time hyperlink model serializer we have to use in this we have to include one url serializer now you can see 
application name is rest app 17 student serializer of serializers dot hyperlink model serializer and here you can see id name sid s address along with it url url field also i'm including when we use url field including now so that means automatically every record url link will be created automatically using link through we can able to do this and now again i'm using in this concept model view set concept i'm using model view set you know that already we discussed in previous lecture so view sets i'm using here in the view section so in view section i'm trying to use model view sets so let's go to views of rest app 17 and now i'm going to take place this so right now we are working with rest app 17 rest app 17 dot step 17 dot serializer student serializer let's step 17 dot model student model and view sets you know already model view set i'm using student model view set for reset serializer class and application level urls i have to change sir now you can see urls file urls in the application level urls i need to change so what is the change means let me show you previous application level urls i'll follow model view set urls i think in the yes I have to use register model view set press tab 17 now you can see we are creating router object for router class and we are using here model view set sorry that is the view name uh, just i'm using student api student model view set base name is student here i'm taking student api here student model view set base name is student i'm changing model view set already we discussed so this is url patterns rest app 70 and this urls we have to include into project level urls finally so let's go for including project level urls rest app 16 previously rest app 16 slash now rest app 70 i'm taking part include rest app 17 dot urls comma so now you can see hyperlink model serializer how it will work you are going to see now each and every url yeah you are uh, each and every record <coughs> each and every record will get hyperlink model link will be created run server now here you can see excuse me first student api link is there now how many records we have that many records each and every student hyperlink created look at this url to see the details of the students you have to see the details now we can it will allow to modify the data and delete the data and anything so modify the data is required for student name sai i am taking uh, name is uh, different addresses i am changing modification i am doing so directly post this automatically it will be updated if you want to see the updated student model view set first record name is changed here also and in the database model also it's clearly changed the name if you want to update you can update and at the same time which record you want to delete you can click on the link for example fourth record i want to delete fourth id hurry so that id record is deleting now it's deleting now clear okay so this is if you want to update delete reading possible here so this is hyperlink model serializer each student uh, or each record can have the link you can use that link directly and go through that record you can do operations on it clear so this is hyperlink model serializer concept and the last concept in uh, trf throttling 
it is just permission so what is throttling means drf django rest framework api throttling allows you to control the way an api is used means what right now we are sending many requests per day per hour per minute no limits of the request of api you know? we are sending multiple requests multiple number of times we are sending request to the api per day per hour now but api throttling allows you to control the way an api is used api throttling is the process of limiting the number of api request a user can make in a certain period means we can restrict the user to limit the api request only throttling is similar to permissions in that it determines if request should be authorized throttles indicates a temporary state and are used to control the rate of request that client can make to an api the django rest framework has three throttling classes in the rest framework dot throttling module so what are the throttling three throttling means all throttling i'll show you a non rate throttle user rate throttle and scoped rate throttle three throttles i'll show now all these classes are specified throttling rules that signify the maximum number of requests in a given time within the scope simple throttling means you can decide which user need to send how many requests per day per hour like that restriction to send a request to the api this is called throttling there are three types of throttle classes are there a non rate throttle user rate throttle scope rate throttle these three throttles i'll include that okay now i'm trying to create a new application but already i created new application here so student uh, api so make migrations migrations yes same thing is there same application but now i'm going to use uh, i'm not going to use any more other application in this application only i'm going to show you throttle concept so let's see this throttle concept how it will work okay but in this throttling authentication uh, namespace we need to add one thing so because user need to be authenticated that's what i'm using authentication also in the urls here we have to use authentication in the urls next uh, what i need to do throttling in throttling purpose we use what you know this is student model view set so authentication classes session authentication permission classes is read only is authenticated read only and throttling also we have to observe throttle classes and non throttle throttle user rate throttle first of all we need to import the namespaces now we can see from rest framework dot permission classes authentication classes throttling classes we have to use view sets student model student realizer common that is in the view i am going first view set student model student realizer already there from rest framework dot authentication import session authentication from rest framework dot permissions import is authenticated or read only next from rest framework dot total import <coughs> Three throttlings are there a non rate total, user rate total, scope rate total. All I am including, you can use it. Okay, user rate total, non rate total, scope rate total. Also, you can use if you want. But in this view section, I am using what authentication class, session authentication, permission class is authenticated or read only, total classes, a non rate total, user rate total only. I am showing now authentication classes equals to session authentication permission classes equals to is authenticated or read only means authenticated users can read non authenticated users can read it authenticated users can perform the operations now you can see total classes equals to what a non read total user read total scope read total also i'll show you but that should be in settings.py only we have to do it so now throttling is fixed but finally we need to set this throttling concept settings.py we have to go and we need to set this compulsory settings.py in settings.py we have to use sir here 
what we have to use in settings.py this we have to use now you can see default underscore total underscore rates a non-user three per day means authentication <clears throat> unauthenticated users can request a api three requests per day user means who is having authentication four request per hour he can do it okay so this is the restriction to access an api request a non-user means three per day user means authentication user means four per hour okay but if you want to uh, execute this one what we need to do first authentication user table i have to go because what users are there we need to check so auth underscore user right click and edit data <clears throat> what users are there in this so mohan and kiran and sharvi is there so unauthenticated user i'll try to show you okay uh, let me create a, okay anyone <clears throat> kiran or something like this kiran mohan which users are there kiran mohan durga is there okay fine no problem let's run this authenticated users can access the api now let me run this this is no login here that means unauthenticated user unauthenticated users can send the request how many times sir three per day only sir now you can see three requests i'm doing now first one next second one next third one next refresh fourth one so now you can see request was throttled expected available in 86394 seconds when still we need to wait for a non-user three per day means one day he need to wait so this is suppose login user means authenticated user means four four per hour means one hour four requests he can do this login means who is logging like this for example i'm taking durga is the user okay and uh, password is i'm giving now we can see login user durga user he can send the request per day how many requests now it is four per hour one two already there three and then fourth request now you can see request was throttle expected available 3589 seconds still he need to wait for this much time because user authenticated user only permission four requests per hour unauthenticated users a permission three requests per day he should wait one day he should wait one hour for more requests he wants to send <clears throat> this is called throttling concept clearly but a non-rate throttle also there no sir third one is sorry uh, scoped rate throttle is there scoped rate throttle means i'll tell you non-authenticated user can make three requests per day and authenticated user can make four requests per hour we checked that already and i am trying to create a new file throttling.py file in the application and i am showing scoped rate total how it will work scoped rate total means particular user we can able to set the limit of uh, accessing api for that purpose i'm taking one new file throttling.py in rest app 17. in this i'm trying to create our own total total rates now you can see rest framework dot throttling import user rate total so mohan rate total user rate total is there mohan is what user mohan user i'm giving scope i'm giving for mohan user this total plot <laughs> this total class we have to use into your view section so now you can see your application name dot throttling import mohan rate throttle we have to use including in the view section in the view section i am using this one sir from your application name is rest app 17 dot throttling import what actually so user rate throttle and i am trying to do total classes equals to let me comment this total classes total classes equals to user rate total i'm using Look at this use a uh, mohan rate throttle sir a non-rate throttle mohan rate throttle i'm using okay. 
total classes equals to non red total this is like the total class is missing 100 total i'm using now this time mohan is going to be logged in as a user he is having permission clearly what you know mohan red total so permission is very clear so this user mohan red total giving permission two per minute i'm giving so mohan two per minute i'm giving here in settings.py in settings.py i'm giving here so username is mohan colon two per minute one minute two requests he can send that is the meaning 400 total now you can run this application and you can log in as a mohan only you can log out as durga you can log in as a mohan 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 this is mohan red total this user can able to send request how many times per minute now you can see one request second request that request is expired that means uh, request was throttle his request is expired expected available in 50 seconds 56 seconds after he can able to send one how many request more two more requests he can able to send so like this this is scope rate throttle now you can see so to do throttling in global also you can do this settings.py also you can do it if you want to do it in global settings.py is required so this is about throttling concept and this is about total Django REST framework, uh, uh, what we can say, what we did in the application. So today, along with the video, you will receive this uh, Django project and with all application RAR folder also, you will receive this. I will make it RAR folder, REST API at 6.30 a.m. This folder also you can receive. So all application, it will be there in your location. So this is the, the rest API we completed and tomorrow onwards same link you can use flask session will be begin. Oh Mohan, I thought that uh, DJ would not DJ rest API started from today. <laughs> Yesterday you sent yeah, yeah, me yeah. an email, but it's it's no. and today is the last day. <laughs> yeah last day last day actually you miss lot of sessions uh, you can do one thing do django i started recently 8 pm indian standard time if it is okay then you can re rejoin again okay <laughs> okay so can you send me a, a link so I will right try now to join. Uh, yeah, yeah yeah right now the demos are going you wait for two or three okay. days once demos are there okay. new students are uh, everything is fine then i'll send a link for you so you can continue with them okay okay yeah yeah, yeah. yeah anyway, thank you, you can, so much you can you can join on this link uh, from tomorrow onwards flask sessions so that is uh, fine only python is required for flask you can continue flask at least okay 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 thank yeah. you i just have a question x plus plus language is it uh, similar to this one uh, python the x plus plus no, no. C sharp I don't, and... uh, no, no, I don't have any idea about X++. Plus plus. C sharp, I, I think know it's, that. C plus. I think it's similar because mm. last week I had a training from my work from the X++ plus plus from the Microsoft and the concept was like looking same. The They are using a for loop. They are using a while. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, any programming it's language that is common. No looping concept is okay. everywhere it is there. Okay, yeah, I felt a little bit confident. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Bye bye.